we are doing pick them right here. Chris and I are going to discuss some games that uh, I did not discuss on the BetUS show. Some, I believe, he has discussed on SBR, but we will we will rehash some of this stuff. And we will start off this week with the biggest matchup of them all, Clemson and Georgia. Chris, I believe you said on your show that this could be the biggest game of the year, and we get it in week one. And I, I don't know that I can disagree with you. Clemson is a three-point favorite. Odds, of course, provided by BetUS, where the game begins. Again, promo code NCAAF2021. Go ahead and check out the description for the link to check it out. I I will go ahead and tell you, I'm going to ride Georgia here. This is These are not official plays, by the way, anything like that. We're, we're going to do a pick them here and talk about the games, kind of break them down a little bit. But I, I like Georgia. Whoever was getting points here, I, I was probably going to go with the dog. Yep. Because I, I do think, I mean, these teams are very similarly talented. And I, I think this is a breakout year for the Georgia offense. The fact that Clemson's offensive line appears to be having some issues, that scares me a little bit. But I've also, do you hear all this stuff about, like, pot, like availability issues due to COVID? No, I haven't games? heard any of the COVID stuff. And when, when, I, when I broke it down and made my pick, it, none of that was there. My, my issue... It's a little scary betting against Clemson, obviously, all the time. Well, yeah. But I think I think your talent matchup's pretty even. I am afraid the best coach on the field works for Clemson, and, and it ain't Dabo. And my my only my only fear is is Kirby has a history of of cocking these games up. Okay, he has a history of sometimes even dominating the football game, like really being in control of it, and then saying, "Hold on, guys, I need to start making some decisions now." So the world knows that I, Kirby Smart, am coaching this football game. And then the other team just capitalizes all over the, the decisions that Kirby makes. And then it snowballs on him and he loses. At some point in time, i got to feel like he's going to stop doing that. Maybe there's a coordinator that will just tackle the shit out of him and say no. <laughs> or just tell the players, ignore the headset. Like, I, yeah. when I send a play in, you do what I say. And if Kirby starts talking, you just ignore that voice because you know what his voice is. And, 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 you know, it, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I, I'm with you. I picked Georgia in this game simply because I, I like the team with a head start. I think it's going to be a really, really close football game. I think so, too. I, I love the coordinator matchups here, especially Todd Munkin against Brent Venables. I, trying to figure out what's going to go on here is going to be bananas. At Mississippi State last year, 23 carries, Eight yards rushing for Georgia against that that Mississippi State defense. Now they run a three three five, but could Venables find something to slow down that Georgia running game if they can put pressure on JT Daniels? They can absolutely come up with different ways. I'm curious about the Clemson wide receivers. I, I think that they have an advantage over that Georgia secondary right now because they got some fresh faces and whatnot. But I, I well, do. I mean, but hell, now Georgia's Georgia secondary. I mean, uh, receivers are. are and there's a lot that a are lot. banged up and whatnot, but they they You're got missing some, a lot. Yeah, no, absolutely. So I I I do think that Georgia is going to be the better team this year. Uh, I will say that. So I'm going to ride with Georgia in this spot. Now, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.